everyone and welcome to a video today that I have wanted to do for so long and now I feel it's kind of justified just because of how many I've actually got now. Welcome to the first tattoo tour that I've done. Hopefully this will be something that I'll do every like maybe six months, every year. Just going through all the tattoos that I've got, all the new ones I've got, and maybe even some future plans for tattoos. As you can see, my arms are quite heavily tattooed. This is a full sleeve, and this has got quite a lot of big traditional pieces on it. So I say, get the sleeve out of the way. Uh, start from here. On my forearm here, I've got my 2019 Joaquin Phoenix Joker piece with the dancing on the stairs and the elevator portrait. Uh, on the back, I've got the Scarecrow from Batman Begins. On the wrist, I've got a Leatherface silhouette walking down the road with the chainsaw. Here, this is a tattoo. Uh, if anyone's familiar with Younger One, he's a rising musician. He had a tattoo like that, but me, Joel and Tom put our initials in there. I really like how that goes on my sleeve. Uh, on inner forearm, I have got the shining design with the typewriter the red room and the carpet and the axes that is one of my favorites uh here i've got a face hugger from alien and the egg a screen mask on towards my elbow my saw spiral on the elbow which really hurt what that's not it that the elbow is the worst spot i've had tattooed closely followed by the wrist uh, oh, also on the wrist I've got a little cinema camera and on this one I've got I've got a couple but I got the VHS tape and the cinema camera at the same time. I have got uh, a Heath Ledger portrait which is actually my favourite tattoo that I've got. It's really well detailed and I've got the red on the smile which really makes it pop. Lover from It. Towards the shoulder I have a Candyman hook which I really love. Uh, here I've got my Psycho House. This leads into what I would do differently and this is also my one sort of tattoo regret uh, i would have had tom do this piece but i am going to get him to go in and touch it up i really do like it it's a really nice piece and the placement of it is fantastic but i don't regret getting it at all it's just the one thing that i would do a bit different on the shoulder i have my xenomorph oh and the psycho knife as well so yeah, that is my sleeve. Uh, it's not the clean, like the cleanest in terms of flowing sleeves. I know some people might look at it and just be like, wow, no, I would not want that. But for me, it's way better than I even anticipated. I did not think I would have all these tattoos. I thought I'd have maybe like five. Before I go on to my other arm, this is the tattoo that got me into tattoo. The swallows or the birds on my chest because of Harry Styles. I remember seeing the ones that he had on his chest. They're quite different, but the two birds, I just remember seeing them in, and I was always like, they're, they're fucking sick. This was my second, third tattoo, because I got a couple of little ones. I'll go to start off this art. Here I've got a little seahorse with an E on its back uh, for my mom. Not because of any reason, like she wasn't ill, she hasn't died, anything like that. Literally, so if ever she had to go at me about tattoos, she couldn't say anything because my first one I got for her. And I also got Make It Count. That was always sort of the one that I wasn't too fussed about, but I actually really like how it's worked into one of my other ones, uh, which were done today. This is why I'm so eager to do this video. This, 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 and then um, the one on the back of my neck were done today. But uh, I've got another couple of little ones. This one, I don't really care if it get, gets covered. I've got Paper Aeroplane. Uh, I've got sort of like the marshmallow face. 1938 for my granddad when he was born. Uh, treat people with kindness. Uh, the graffiti, yes. And these ones I actually did myself. I do not recommend that you tattoo yourself, but me and Joel have had some fun tattooing ourselves. 208, am I right? Also on my ankle, I have got YW for Young Wookie. I've loved doing like the producing on his music seeing him get so much better at it. So I do want another thing for Joel's music, but uh, just wait for the right time to come along and the right idea. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's uh, Science of the Lambs design with the Hannibal mask and the moth. The shoulder is actually the most boring place to get tattooed because it really doesn't hurt, which some people might absolutely like love. But for me, it's 
the most boring place to get tattooed because you barely ever see it. Like, look, if I have my sleeve down, you cannot see it. It literally cuts off perfectly. Like, same with my Xenomorph. I never look at it just because it's always covered. This is one of my favorite tattoos. It's just, it's fully healed and it pops so fucking much. Like, all the color on it. It took about three hours and it wasn't at all painful. Unlike the one underneath, which I got today, and as I said, the elbow is the worst spot I've ever had done. And especially when you're building up to it and it goes to like on the elbow, then coming around towards the elbow crease, which again is horrible. But I am absolutely in love with that tattoo. I really, really like it. I love the placement of it. My lighthouse piece, it's in, uh, sorry, they're a bit red. See, like I said, I will do more tattoo to tours in the future so you'll get to see them when they're fully healed yeah i got it in black and white just because obviously the film is in black and white and the rose at the bottom in red to just make it pop and here this again is one of my favorite tattoos uh, it's a velociraptor and then a rose at the bottom i really do like that rose to be fair okay i'll show you the one on the back of my neck it is a death moth uh, I was going to get the Science of Lambs death moth on my neck, but my tattoo artist said the detail wouldn't stand out. I'm going to get it big at the top of my back at some point. That really was not that bad. It only took, it, I swear it took a little bit less than an hour. And even so, the amount of detail he's managed to put into it is amazing. Tom is one of the best tattoo artists I'm aware of. He is incredible just the amount of consistency in his work like like this sleeve he's absolutely nailed these pieces three of these pieces he's done today and another one on the back of my neck just under five hours there's this one on my hand i do eventually want to get at least this hand done to fully finish off this sleeve but i think hand tattoos and like throat tattoos and all that sort of stuff are still quite it's, you you want to be quite settled down when you get them and the other reason I'm not rushing is because that fucking killed so I'm not looking forward to getting the whole of my hand done but luckily I would never get over my knuckles I'd get it to stop at my knuckles just because I think that's the neatest way to do it on my knee I've got an anchor and a little music note again which I did myself yeah going to is there anything I'd do differently with tattoos apart from getting Tom to do this house which I'm going to get him to touch it up maybe if I could take this quote off then I'm, I would but it doesn't fuss me and I do like it how it fits in there yeah it is still a quote I like it's just not a tattoo of mine that really leaps out as one of my favorites which tattoos actually are my favorites okay I'll give I'll give a top five. First is my Heath Ledger then is my birds then the spiral then that one it's either my Joaquin Phoenix or the Velociraptor not too sure probably my Joaquin Phoenix to be fair and I'd really love the way the spiral goes onto the head I don't really want to boost myself up with my tattoos because me I'm just sort of the middleman with it the one who's improvised and done the actual skill and the thought behind it is Tom because originally the spiral was meant to be there so Tom's changed it up and he's made it even better than it was ever going to be. So I've just been very fortunate to have and really sort me out and nice me with all these tattoos. How tattooed do I actually want to be? Uh, I'm not too sure. I do want to have my sternum done, maybe something underneath. I want my legs done. I think I want something down here, like a word down here, but that's not something I'm too fussed about. I do want something there as well. I don't know, not too tattooed. I don't want full bodysuit because I definitely think there is such a thing as too tattooed. It really does suit some people. Some people who are absolutely covered in tattoos look absolutely fantastic. So thank you for watching this tattoo tour. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of it. And also go and check out Tom's page. It's absolutely fantastic. Go and check out Young Wookie. No doubt he'll be doing a tattoo tour soon. And I will see you very soon. See you later. My rhymes in the death note Kind of career, but you already know It's time to stop thinking that you're making dough Just please do as I said so and go